The Trinidad and Tobago Fashion Company Limited was established in 2013. As a subsidiary of the Trinidad and Tobago Creative Industries Company Limited, Creative at Fashion's mandate is to stimulate and facilitate the business development and export activity of the fashion industry in Trinidad and Tobago to generate national wealth. The company provides capacity development workshops, growth strategies, and linkages with foreign buyers for local fashion industry stakeholders. The strategic plan for the fashion industry of Trinidad and Tobago represents the culmination of extensive work conducted in 2014 which focused on analyzing the sector and identifying cost-effective interventions to maximize market growth, exports, and vitality of the industry and its impact on the overall economy of Trinidad and Tobago. The plan outlines a bold new strategic direction and the strategic initiatives that will be undertaken by fashion during the period 2015–2020. Fashion and economic diversification Trinidad and Tobago is the leading Caribbean producer of oil and gas and its economy is heavily dependent upon these resources. Recently, the country's economy has become susceptible to fluctuating oil and gas prices and in an effort to undergo economic transformation through diversification, the government has identified the fashion industry as one of three pioneering sectors that are pivotal to long-term economic sustainability. The other two sectors are music and film. Projects, initiatives French Caribbean Inward Buyers Mission In September 2015, Fashion hosted its first Inward Buyers Mission with merchants and retailers from the French Caribbean. Fourteen local designers showcased their creations for buyers from Martinique and Guadeloupe and all secured large orders for their fashion products to be sold in retail outlets in the French Caribbean market. Fashion upgrade. Producing quality garments that meet national and international standards. Fashioned, in collaboration with the Trinidad and Tobago Bureau of Standards, TTBS, hosted this workshop to educate local fashion designers on the approved standard for garment production. Using TTBS draft standard as the course content, facilitator Violet Davis Maurice elaborated on the assessment of garment quality, detailing how and the extent to which garments should be produced in Trinidad and Tobago. This standard is based on international best practice. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Value Chain Investment Program. The Fashion Value Chain Investment Program is the cornerstone of the strategic plan for the fashion industry. This five-year program assesses local firms by an independent international panel who categorizes firms into one of the four levels of the VCIP. The Global Value Chain Support Program Non-Global Value Chain Support Program Incubator program for new, young high potential companies or partnerships Firms that are earmarked for future support The VCIP is a landmark, annual initiative that began in 2017 when the Trinidad and Tobago Fashion Company Limited Fashion convened a three-member international panel to interview 21 designers in Trinidad and Tobago. Each candidate was scored based on their responses to a series of questions related to 16 VCIP criteria. Brand story, relevance Market experience, brand positioning, clarity Design know-how and capabilities Consumer knowledge 
Commercial viability Retail understanding Sales capability – processes Export production capacity Product quality – based on samples presented Brand presence Marketing strategy Equipment – operational capabilities General management Financial health Financial compliance Tiebreaker – total value of orders received, shipped, invoiced and collected in the inaugural cohort in 2017, 29 designers participated in the program with five being accepted into the non-GVC tier based on their scores, Milhouse, Acliff Ely, J. Angelique, Charu Locken Das and Ted Arthur Leather Collections these firms received support in improving up to two elements of their value chain by refining their in-house performance or outsourcing some steps locally. This support was provided by professor at the Fashion Institute of Technology and consultant, Vincent Kwan over a one-year period who worked closely with these designers to harness their most significant value chain potentials. A new cohort of 100 designers was accepted in 2018 with three participating in the Global Value Chain tier, Myling, Charu Locken Das and Acliff Ely. At the end of the five-year period, Fashion anticipates that 15 to 25 firms will have improved value chains, thereby enabling the sector to contribute favorably to national wealth. Topic. Garment production facility Fashioned, in partnership with the University of Trinidad and Tobago UTT and Trinidad and Tobago Bureau of Standards TTBS, is establishing a modern production facility in Trinidad and Tobago. Raymond Wong, professor at the Fashion Institute of Technology in New York City, has been hired to develop the business model for this facility which is expected to open in the 2018–2019 fiscal year. According to General Manager of Fashion, Lisa Marie Daniel, this garment production facility will allow local designers to become major players in the global fashion scene. Not only will they have access to a first-class manufacturing center but this facility will also ensure the long-term sustainability of our local fashion industry through revenue generation and job creation. Topic creativity and business of fashion series In August and September 2016, Fashion hosted a three-part creativity and business of fashion workshop. The first workshop on August 27, 2016 was facilitated by Margaret Bishop, professor at Fashion Institute of Technology and Parson New School of Design in New York City. Margaret covered a range of topics including the global apparel market, making the best use of your competitive advantage, brand marketing in the digital age, make or break imperatives in the global market and upscaling, building the ability to grow your volume. The second workshop was facilitated by Deborah Beard, an associate chairperson of technical design and professor in both technical design and art and design at the Fashion Institute of Technology. Participants were educated on pricing, producing samples and tech packs, creating line sheets, production logistics, optimization, trade show requirements, and starting website sales, negotiations, and payments and trouble points in manufacturing. This third workshop on 30 September 2016 had several facilitators, Amar Ramdani, Chief Operations Officer of NEDCO Trinidad and Tobago, Entertainment Lawyer Akila Phillip, Mario Whiteman, Technical Examiner at the Local Intellectual Property Office, Meghnath Gosing, Unit Leader of Business Services at Caribbean Industrial Research Institution and representatives from e-commerce company, e-line. They educated participants on business financing in fashion, finance management, managing contracts in the fashion industry, intellectual property management, the e-commerce offerings in Trinidad and Tobago and lastly, merging creativity, business and innovation. The 
The Business of Fashion series Fashion, in conjunction with the Trinidad and Tobago Bureau of Standards TTBS and the Tobago House of Assembly TAR, hosted this series of training workshops in July 2017 which sought to educate local designers on the importance of strategically managing their businesses to achieve desired results and revenue. This heightened understanding of business processes and their effects on revenue and export ability, will contribute to the continued growth of the fashion industry and by extension, Trinidad and Tobago's gross domestic product. <laughs> Ultra Bespoke Tailoring Program The Trinidad and Tobago Fashion Company Limited fashioned alongside its parent company, the Trinidad and Tobago Creative Industries Company Limited has partnered with the Ministry of Trade and Industry, Mike Institute of Technology and Savile Row Academy, to host a one-year certificate program in bespoke tailoring, pattern drafting, cutting and fitting beginning in March 2018. The main objective of this program is to provide specialist skills through an intensive training program. These skills will enable designers to progress into employment on the highest levels of tailoring and within the fashion-related industries on an individual level. On a macro level, the program will enable the tailoring sector in Trinidad and Tobago to flourish through its association with such a well-respected brand as Savile Row Academy, thereby encouraging acceptance into global markets, the growth of the fashion industry and an increase in contribution to the gross domestic product. <laughs> 